Tommy, I guess we can say it now, finally three points after a little bit of a blip. How does that feel after that one? Yeah, yeah really pleased. I'm pleased for the players. <clears throat> I'm pleased for the football club. And I'm pleased for the supporters who've made the journey up here. But not just them, the, the ones that have followed us all, all over the place all season. Because that was a real a game with two good sides, to be honest with you. Um, and for all the hoo-ha that went on about last week, let me put it straight here. We had nothing to do with the game being called off. And I've taken a barrage of abuse <laughs> from a load of blokes up there who don't realise I come from three, four miles from here. So if anybody wants to play in the rain in the wind in the muck and in the, in the, 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 the nettles it'll be me trust me so listen I wish Gates had all the very best in the playoffs um, what, I, what I was really really pleased about was I said to the lads before the game let's, let's make sure we take this whatever this is to the final game of the season and we've done that yeah exactly as you say we've been given a chance with results elsewhere before tonight yeah. and all we can do is go out and win so and we did that so yeah. you know job done isn't it yeah it's credit to the staff credit to the players the way we've prepared and the club have provided us with exactly the right itinerary for us to be able to come up and be the best version of ourselves i picked a very different side i'm guaranteeing you now there'll be people all over North East Hampshire absolutely slaughtering me at um, half past six when they're ready the team. But they don't understand what goes on on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of our players are right at the end of their, their race, if you like. Some of our players are only at the beginning of it, but they can't last the 90 minutes. So the decisions I'm making are absolutely for the benefit of us to be the strongest we can be. And the game plan that we, we set out with the right players that we started the game with, the players that we finished the game with the right players. So it, when that happens as a, as a staff and as a management, it's really pleasing, but it's ultimately down to the players. Um, delighted. Well, when you make those changes and you see, you know, Josh Barrett playing yeah. a really good game, Kwame obviously scoring as well amongst the other players that yeah. played well tonight, you must be happy with that. Well, yeah, I am because, you know, at the, end, at the end of the day, they're here as part of what we've done this season. All of them lads, you know, some have been here longer than others, but there's a lot of lads who've played a hell of a lot of games and I think they've just run out a little bit of a steam in the last three week, four weeks. A very wise man, man said to me, if you want to change your results, you have to change what you're doing. And we had to change what we're doing. If we'd have gone at it the way we've played for most of the season tonight, that team that we played against would have beaten us, without a shadow of a doubt. So we give them the respect that they deserved. Um, and we, whilst they controlled the ball in the first half, we controlled the game because Jordy didn't make a save. Mm. And as soon as we got the opportunity to take the advantage, we broke James Daly's skip past the goalie and he's taken him over. So we then have the extra man and I thought we dominated and we, we've, they reverted to going really long, really quickly, which maybe has been an Achilles heel for us, but I thought the three lads at the back and the goalkeeper saw the clean sheet out really well. Like I said, I don't think Jordy's really had a massive save to make. So, yeah, great night. Made the long journey up all the worthwhile. I think we might have touched on it last time we played Gateshead at our place, because mm. they are a side, aren't oh. they, that we know, you know, they like to hold the ball side. well, but yeah, yeah. our players have to have credit for, you know, Seeing that possession in front of them yeah. and not letting it get to their heads, yeah, holding yeah. firm and then taking our chances well, listen, when it came I, I think I think they're one of the better sides in the division all season. You know, they, when they came to us, they were very much very much similar. We got our noses in front there, but they managed to peg us back. This time we've managed to keep our noses in front. But for a team like us, who also like to have the ball, you've got to be really disciplined. And people will be surprised that I trusted Josh Barrett in particular in that front three. Kwame, I know what I'm going to get. James Daly, I know what I'm going to get. Josh is a little bit of an enigma. Everybody who ever, who's ever used him says he doesn't work hard enough. That's not the case. He's got to know what his job is. And I thought he stuck to it really well. I said to him in half time, you'll get two chances before you come off to make something happen or to score the goal. He had the free kick, which he should have hit the target with. And then he's put the ball on the plate for Kwame. So he's, he's done exactly what we want him to do. So, But, you know, I don't want to pick one individual out. I thought Ollie Scott was outstanding. I thought Theo was excellent in the middle of the yep. park with Dejan. I thought Frosty had his best game for a month. I could go on and on and on. So, listen, as you see, I'm really pleased. But look, we may be back here, hopefully, in a few weeks' time. You never know. So, let's stay classy. These have done fantastic. To get to Wembley already once and have another opportunity, I can see why with the way that they play the game.